The mansion is said to be very, very haunted. This ball keeps going off. That just finished my sentence. Mm. Somebody in that window is watching us. There was a tap up here. Just feel a breeze. Yeah. Are you up in the turret? Are you able to make another noise for us, please? Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are going to conduct a paranormal investigation at the Lena of Hobart, which is a haunted mansion from the 1800s. So let's get going. The Lena of Hobart is a historic mansion in Tasmania that dates back to 1874. Today, many people consider the former residence to be haunted by its former owners. Both Alexander and Harriet McGregor are said to roam the halls of the Lena. One area is of particular interest to paranormal investigators. A turret built on top of the house is said to be especially active. Footsteps, disembodied voices and apparitions are all frequently reported in this area. Tonight, we investigate the secrets of this historic and haunted mansion. All right, guys, so I, I'm going to start and kind of center my investigation on the upper levels of the Lena of Hobart. Reason being, this is where the mansion is said to be very, very haunted. If you haven't done so already, go and watch part one because I go a lot, over a lot of the history. But basically, the people who built this mansion in the 1800s, that would be Alexander and Harriet McGregor, who built this place, are said to haunt it. So sadly, Harriet is said to have committed suicide by jumping off of one of the terrorists of this building that is unsubstantiated but that is a rumor. Alexander actually passed away in the house when he was about 75 in 1896. He died warm in his bed but they're supposed to hang around this area. Reason being is above my head. We have what is known as the turret and this is where uh, the couple would look out to sea. This has a beautiful view of the Bay of uh, Hobart, basically. And they uh, would see trading ships coming in from London, which gave them a real advantage uh, with their trade. And so they spent a lot of time up here. And this is actually where our first kind of paranormal occurrences happened. So people here, both Harriet and Alexander late at night, pacing and walking above us in the turret. We also have a lot of footsteps that are heard, which I believe to be Alexander's, in the hallways of this mansion. Now, I was told by staff today also that some of the offices, which unfortunately we can't get into, but say this one right behind me, there has been weird noises occur in these rooms late at night when there is no one else in the building. Things like doors slamming, footsteps, and even voices. So I think that that is quite interesting. And I think it's about time we just jump in and start this investigation. All right guys, before we head up the turret or like the watchtower, uh, which is said to be very, very haunted. I'm going to set up a couple of these uh, sensors. They, we call them cat balls because essentially they're a cat toy. But these things will light up if they are physically moved, which is very interesting when you place them down on the ground, walk away, and they light up. So I'm going to set some of these up. I'm just going to spread them around the room. One here in the hallway. Um, we'll put one on this lovely red chair. <laughs> I'm going to put one just here, one here, and one right about here. Let's go lights off. Hi, my name is Amy and I am visiting the Learner of Hobart today with my mum who is with me named Sonia. And we are very appreciative that you've allowed us inside your home. I would love uh, to say thank you to either Harriet or Alexander. If either of you are around, could you let us know that you're, you're with us? Just so that we can thank you for allowing us to enter into your home. I've placed a couple of small clear balls on a seat, the stairs and a couple on the floor around us. If you could walk close to one of those and just 
move it, just touch it. That would be very much appreciated. If you're able to move one of these balls then they light up flashing bright colours and that just lets us know that you're here with us. Maybe you're also able to make a noise for us, maybe you can tap or, or make a knocking noise on something. Why is it that you hang around this area? Was this a, a meaningful place to you in life? I don't know if you heard that. What? There was a tap up here. Plingful, 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 plingful. Pl I'm not sure the camera would have picked that up, but this is the turret above me and there was a definite tap. It sounded like, almost like a loud tap that sounded like um, glass being hit and there is a whole lot of glass up there in that room. It's just uh, every which way you look is just windows um, because it was a lookout. Are you up in the turret? Are you able to make another noise for us, please? Can you walk down one of these hallways towards us? We're friendly people. Are you in the turret? Can you walk down towards me? So just by me walking around on this floor, you can really get the sense of how old the building is because you can hear every little creak and moan of the wood flexing under my feet and that is what people are said to hear up here. So it's like a very distinct footstep that not to be mistaken for anything else. Alexander, Harriet. Are either of you home? That's just me. I know it might be difficult, but if you could give us a, a very definitive sign that you're here, we would think that is very nice of you. <laughs> That's creaky. <laughs> so creaky, I can't move the wall. It just creaks. So we don't really seem to be getting much activity on the balls down here. But I definitely did hear that tap upstairs in the turret. So that kind of makes me interested. It makes me want to move things upstairs into there and just see if we have a little bit more luck. Maybe we can get these cat balls to go off up there and we'll probably definitely try some different pieces of equipment too. Alright guys, we've just made our way up into the turret up the crazy little staircase which was great to lug up all of my gear but we made it i've set up some cat balls around i've got uh, in a couple random places i've got two up here that one could have gone off because i just hit this ledge but i've got two along this windowsill specifically because this is the area that looks out to the ocean so if i had to that's going off again so that's cool. Um, this, because I was not touching them, <laughs> but this is the area looking out onto the ocean. So I suspect if Alexander or Harriet were up here, they would have been gazing out in this direction. I've also got a couple of other random ones on the floor, um, but I won't show you those unless they light up. 
Now, I think the first thing that we're going to do is maybe reach out on the Ghost Tube app. Ooh. Is that you? Are you here? Alexander or Harriet you can probably hear us talking about you and we don't mean to be rude or disrespectful. I'm going to start running the app. But maybe we should go lights out. Alright guys, I'm just doing record now. And this is me running a ghost tube session in the turret of Lenner of Hobart. I'm calling out to either Harriet or Alexander. I've heard that you guys spend a lot of time up here in this particular part of your home in the turret. If that is true, can you come towards me? Can you touch any of these clear balls that I've set up around the room? Especially the ones on this window sill because I imagine you both gazing out of this window uh, a lot. I've also got um, a device in my hands and if you want to, if you feel comfortable, don't be shy to come towards it. If you get close to it, it will alert me and it will let me know that you are here with me. We've also got a couple of the readings on the bottom of the screen, guys. The green one is electromagnetic uh, readings, so that normally fluctuates um, naturally, but if there's any strange spikes, people believe that that could indicate the presence of a spirit. I just want to say, this place up here is kind of strange. People report to feel it moving around as it did many, many years ago. Now it's more structurally sound, I guess. But what's also interesting is apparently a lot of this was actually built from one of Alexander's sailing ships. So it's kind of strange for it to think that it could have its own energy from rocking back and forth water. on the water. Oh, that's relevant. Yeah, that just finished my sentence. Yes. From rocking back and forth. Water. From rocking back and forth. Water. From rocking back and forth. Water. Thank you if if that is someone trying to talk to us. If it is, can you tell us your name? Pretty cool that I just said water. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you make a noise up here for us? Uh, earlier when I was downstairs, I thought that I heard a tap on one of the panes of glass up here. Could you please do that again? of my nail because yeah. I just want a comparison of what I heard downstairs. It didn't really sound like that to be honest. Not that. Are you a friend? Oh yes. Yes we are friends. We are friends and, and we would really love to talk to Harriet or Alexander. Either one of you Can you tell me if you're male or female? Behind you, quick, 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 in the window still. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Harriet, is that you? Flash it again if it is you. Thank you, Harriet. Are you able to flash a, a different ball just to let us know that you would like to talk to us? Over here, Harriet, this one. The one closest to me.
Can you flash one of the balls on the floor? Alright guys, so I thought best just to cut that ghost tubes. Oh, this ball keeps going off. Doing it again. So I thought best just to cut that ghost tube session because the last response that we got through on it said goodbye. And to me, I don't know if that means that maybe the spirit didn't like that that type of device or method of communication as much they're gone or maybe it was just random nothingness like who who really knows but i think that that is a good segue to move on to a different piece of equipment that we can try to reach out um, and see if we, we can use something else that can give us some more evidence all right guys i just want to show you with this k2 here i've just gone literally all around this room looking for any wires or anything in the walls, you know, just to get some uh, some base readings with the K2. Oh, is there something flashing here? There may be something in this corner because it's flashing a little bit, but I've just been all around the floor and I, I can't really find anything that's triggering here and this is shaking so we're going to sit down and I'm going to try a different experiment we are just about to begin our next experiment and I thought that I would sit right here on the floor this is the place where Harriet and Alexander are always heard walking around it's also right beneath their portrait here on the wall this is actually Alexander and Harriet here I'm going to sit down beside, uh, I've got a K2 set up and two cat balls and I'm actually going to play some nice music and I hope that the spirits appreciate it and want to interact. Alright, if there really is anybody in this room, I've bought something for you as a gift. I'm, I'm going to play you a little bit of music. If you do enjoy the music, it would be lovely if you could come towards the green light that's just in front of me just to let me know that you like the music so that I can keep you know playing it for you. There's also two more of those balls that are right near that green light so if you could set one of those off as well that would be really really lovely. Now, I think it's very interesting that ball went off. If, if you really did like that music, can you set off the other ball? It keeps going off. It started doing that like literally the second that I started playing. Oh, not the music. Light up the other ball. Can you light up the other ball? Okay. Thank you. I'm going to play the music again. Remember there's still another ball there, so if you do enjoy it, please feel free to move that one or come really close to that green light and maybe you can make it uh, light up some, some other colors for me. Did you like the music box?
If you did, I'm happy to play it again. I just, I just want to know that you did enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna play this music box one more time. I might put this one back out. If it doesn't light up. Okay, I'm also gonna do an earthquake test. Maybe you can make a noise. Give me a round of applause for the music. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I think it's very, very interesting that that ball lit up during the first time that I played this this music box because it hadn't lit up before that and it had been sitting there on for a, a, quite a little while while we set up and then it was almost like the second that I played that little tune it started lighting up. I, I definitely can't say that's paranormal because I mean it's stopped now and it's just so it's just so strange that it's not going off now you know where it was just non-stop going off before. We also didn't get any other activity on the other two, you know, the K2 or the cat ball. So I mean, it would be a, a lot more exciting for me if all of those were going off. But Harriet, Alexander, if you are around, I do hope that you enjoyed the music. I think that is a pretty cute little music box and a cool tune. Okie doke guys, I'm just heading downstairs now and the last thing that I want to try tonight is just a spirit box and I'm going to choose to do that in the area where Alexander actually passed away. So I'm going to head down to the second floor and locate that place. Alright guys, we're currently sitting up on the second floor. This is the area where I believe the bedrooms were and where Alexander would have uh, likely passed away. So I'm just going to reach out in Spirit Box. I don't know if we'll get anything through, but it's definitely worth a try while we're here. Hi, my name is Amy, and I'm trying to reach out to any of the McGregors that might still be here in Lena. If, if you're around, can you just come through and tell me your name? Feel free to try to use this device in my hands to communicate with me. I don't know, I think I just heard stop it come through. Mm. Do you not like the sound that this is making? Can you just let me know? If you say I don't like it, I'll turn it off. Am I talking to Alexander? Stirred like a big crash downstairs. Maybe it's the night star. I'm yeah. just gonna keep going. Could be the border. Did you just hear a loud noise too? Did you just feel a breeze? Yep, yeah. a cold breeze. Yeah, me too. What way did it come? I feel like it came from this direction. Yeah, from under the door. I looked 
at the window because that's logical, but it came from here. I can feel it coming through now as, again still from under that door. Is there someone making it go cold here? Can you tell me, can you say something through this device? You see, I can't feel it now. Can you still feel it? No. It That's definitely. weird because it was just like a big gust of wind. It can't be the window either. Because well, maybe the window's open in there though and it's blown through. I can't really see anything. Can you say Sonia? <laughs> I can feel it again. I can't feel it this time. No, I feel like nothing. You. Who's with us? Can you tell me your name? Am I sitting in your chair? You haven't got cold breath though or anything, have you? No. Yeah, it's not that cold. It's a cold dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> if it's cold. <laughs> right, so looking through here, I can see it looks like the windows are closed. Definitely closed. Maybe you're right, maybe they do have like an air conditioning system in there. I can't see one. It is cold down here. There's cold air here, yeah. but I don't know that it's not that cold and just to get like a solid waft of it all of a sudden is odd. He's watching not who? Somebody in that window is watching us. Where? What window? Just or is it just a reflection? Oh, in that house over there? Yeah. It is looks it? like a person at the window. That's creepy. I think he's gone. I don't know if that place is haunted. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you are ever in the Hobart area, I highly recommend staying at the Elena of Hobart. Even if you're not interested in the spirits, this place is just beautiful. If you guys did enjoy this video though, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really, really helps me out. If you guys want to do more reading on this haunted place or any others around the world that I have visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also keep up with what I'm doing at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.